Hello everyone, my name is Marco Tempest. I'm here at my New York City Magic Lab. I'm the magician who creates digital illusions. That means staying ahead of the technology curve because technologies we don't understand often look like magic. Now in the interest of full disclosure, the HP Sprout team has provided me with this machine. It contains a forward facing camera, a downward facing camera, a depth camera, a touch mat, a touch screen, and a projector. That's the technology. The magic comes from an application I developed. An application that tells a story about reality and illusion. So here is the reality. And on the screen, we have the digital illusion. And here, well, as you know, this amazing device combines the two. Albert Einstein once said that reality itself was an illusion, although a very pleasant one. And yet, magicians play with reality all the time to enhance our experience of the world and make the impossible possible. And so do computer engineers and software designers. Their goal is to take the real world, copy it, transform it into a digital environment, and make it real again. Blended reality. Magicians call it magic. Magicians have always made great use of technology. In medieval times, the alchemists used chemistry and physics to convince the public of their magical powers and conjure up ghosts and spirits. For centuries, they've been ahead of the technological curve, and they continue to use technology to take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. But magicians aren't alone in their desire to transform the world. We all have the power to create. It lies deep within our imagination. The trick is to make the process as simple as possible, to go from thought to expression. To have an idea and be able to turn fantasy into reality. In the past, we have been limited to creating two dimensions. We draw, we paint, we literally just touched the surface. But what if we could manipulate every dimension? Mold it, stretch it. Now you can reimagine the world and like a magician, make it your own. What magic and technology have in common is the capacity for us to view the world in new ways. Today, we can all be magicians. We can take a bit of the real world, copy it, transform it, change it, even print it. But not just in two dimensions, but in three bringing our ideas, our thoughts, our notions into reality. All technology is magical when seen before its time, but some technologies are more magical than others. And the ability to blend reality and give form to our imagination is a goal we've long been reaching for. Blended reality was once an idea, and now everyone can use it. Enjoy the magic. Thank you. Thanks for watching and I'll hope I see you around.